Okay, as you can see, I have, I believe it's eight note cards here, nine note cards. And the you should have at least 12, but I think I have enough that I can go ahead and do the piles. So before I can do the piles, I know that I'm going to have one that says counter argument on it. And then I need to look at my main points to find out what the names of the piles will be because that's those are the categories i'm going to put the other cards in okay so the first thing it says it, it roe v wade should be codified through replacing far right judges on the supreme court okay the other is by congress passing a bill that protects women's rights to an abortion and the third one is public opinion uh there need to be more groups of pro um pro choice instead of pro abortion and they need to lean on the government and part of the way you do that is you don't vote certain people back in office but again that takes time it might it would be worth it to just go ahead and start applying pressure now and eventually they might find it's a popular thing to agree with the public who knows miracles happen okay so i'm going to go over here and just by looking i'm so sorry there just by looking at this i know this women health protection act that was an attempt by Congress to remedy the fact that women did not have a choice anymore in some of our states. So, okay, I'm looking at it. And again, I know where to look because I've given it a title. So I'm going to put this under, excuse me, I'm yelling. I'm going to put it under my first main point, which is, and so I'm going to say, click on that, on the stack of books, add to pile, but first I'm going to give it a name, and it'll be one of my main points. So I will say, replace, I'm just going to say judges, because I know, I know it's the far right ones. Okay, so I'm going to create and add that. Okay, now, if you noticed that card that I clicked on to make the pile, it's now under there. And I know because it says one. And then when I click there, there it is. Okay, so I go back up here and hide it. Okay, now that's replacing judges, justices. But remember, Congress, one of them was Congress should come up with a plan or a bill. So let's make another pile. So we're going to click on that and we're going to say Congress um, I'm trying to find a verb here uh, passes bill. I'm trying to make them pretty short. Okay, now I want to add this card right here where I clicked on. I want to add it under that. Okay, so there's that one. And now there are two cards under here. Let's look. I don't know if I want them there or not. Okay, Senate must cut. Oh, yeah, I need to take this one out. Okay, so I'm going to pull that one out. I should be able to... I guess I'll just come back because that's actually going in my introduction. I'll come back and get that. And then this one is replacing judges. Well, I already have a pile for that. See? So I just simply, oop, sorry. I simply add it there. I just click on it. And now it is, let's go like that. Well, I just had it. Excuse me. Let me go over here. Okay, so you've got replacing justices. No, I do not. 
Okay, then you got this one, replacing far right judges. Okay, so this one here needs to go there. So now there are two. So you just drag it. Um, okay, there we go. So now we have two piles. So I, the only one I don't have is that last one, um, the popular opinion call to action. Um, okay, swaying public opinion. So that is my third main point. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say a name. Uh, I'm going to say public opinion. Okay, and I want this card that I'm clicking on to go under it. And I don't know why it keeps going over there, but basically this is it. And if I want to put them in order, it's replace justices. I think that was my first one. Congress was my second one. So I'm going to put public opinion last. Okay, there we go. So then that would be an order. Okay, now... I do need to do, okay, so Dobbs versus Jackson may be what the majority, oh, this is the counter argument, okay? So I remember that. So I'm going to click on the pile and I'm going to say counter argument. And really it's the will of the majority, but we'll get into that later. So I'm going to create and add that there. So let's go to the counter argument. So far, I have one. All right, Maryland codified. Okay, so that should be under the Congress one. Okay, so now that one's got three. Let's look and see. No, no, it doesn't. It didn't go in there. Now it's got three. Okay, now I did, I'm going to put Add to pile. This is the introduction. Okay, and then I'm going to put this card under there. So it's a quote that I found. Let's show you later. I can rearrange all these. Okay, and then I know. Let me look. This may be the same thing. Quotation for lead. I This is a duplicate. I'm going to delete that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then I want to go to this is the conclusion. See, because it says call to action. That would be the last sentence of the um of the conclusion. So let's say conclusion. Create and add that. I don't know why it's doing crazy stuff like this, but I'm going to go um Conclusion. All right. So now I have a couple of strays here. I'm going to put the quotation there. I'm going to drag it up to there, which I guess it's there. Oh, no. Yeah. Let me see what it says. Uh-uh. You should have already verified all these. Always go back to the four squares to get back here, opening quote, I think I had, okay, so now I have two cards there. So now instead of seeing nine or what will be at least 12 cards, I see six things, six piles, and they're all in order of the um, outline that I'm going to be doing. So let's look here. I'm going to go and put introduction here. I'm going to put it all in order. So that's the first main point. This is the second main point. This is the third main point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the first main point. This is the second main point. And then the car, the counter argument goes after the second main point and before the third main point. And then this is the conclusion. So when you do your outline, this is Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three, Roman numeral four, Roman numeral five, Roman numeral six. 
So the only one that I needed to take something out of that one's okay. Um, let's see, was this it or it may have been this one? Oop. No, that's that one's correct. So maybe I did end up putting it in the right place. Opening quotation. Don't know what's going on there. That one is in the other one, so. Okay, that's in the introduction, so I'm going to put those back there. Okay, then the, repo the replace the justices. Okay, so there are two cards under introduction, two cards under replace justices, and two cards under Congress passes. Um. Those should be up under in there. Okay. And then there's one for the counter argument so far. And then um, you've got public opinion one and public opinion one. So since I only have eight or nine cards and I need three more, of course, I'm going to go back to the ones that have the fewest. So maybe add one here. I wouldn't worry about the conclusion because you'll be using your own words that there, but I would definitely put another one under public opinion, one under counter argument, and I don't know where you want to put the other one because this is two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I could add one here. So in a way, it's kind of good that I don't have all of them because I see where I need to find my sources uh, when I'm when I have my sources, I need to find some that will talk about how public opinion can sway uh, Congress, and Congress can go ahead and and make a bill uh, or codify it, make it part of the Constitution. And I need another one for the counter argument. And the counter argument, if you look at it, is basically that that is the will of the people. Maybe we think we're in the mind, uh, the majority if we want to keep it, but most people don't. So, yeah, I still need to build that one up. I have all of the information. I just haven't put it on there. So then go back and make sure when I pull this up to give you a grade, a checklist grade, that you put it all in order and I can see how many cards and I'll go in Make sure that you've completed them and not made empty cards and then give you credit for that. But all I should see is six piles, one for the introduction, one for the conclusion. If you want to put a quote in there and keep it there so you don't lose it, then that'd be all right. Um, this one, the replace justices, that needs to be the next one. So know what know what your main points are. That's close where I know what it is. This is my second main point. That's kind of how I, I didn't say it in those words, but you'll know that that matches my main point. Public opinions, the other. So before you go off and make piles, decide what you want to name them, Okay. So, for example, let me see if I can uh, bear with me for just a second. I may have to switch my screen, but let me just go to one of yours. Okay, here's someone with five. Okay, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to his cards. Um... A little bit confused. Maybe he's made the cards, but let me go over here. Okay, he's made two. Okay, so, but before I go any further, I'm going to go back again, and I am going to look up his project. So I'm just going to go here and I am going to go, well, I'll go to his note cards. Never mind. Okay. Our workers. Well, I'm trying to get to his. 
I should be able to see his research question. Mm. Let me see somebody else's and how theirs presents. Okay, this is three and three. Okay, that's Sebastian. Let me look at his note cards. I don't know why. Maybe it should let me look. I should be able to see that. Well, here it is. I don't know why I can't see that. Okay, so here's Sebastian's. Go back and look before you do your piles and figure out what you want to do. Something's wrong with my screen. Um. Let me see if I can make it smaller. Here we go. Many forms of art have been censored or deemed illegal throughout history and yet are still widely considered as art. Artists have always tried to be controversial, making it somewhat hypocritical to deem graffiti. So, well, you've already said deemed, so I would say a different word a synonym and that goes for everybody don't use the same one that's a great word but uh making it somewhat hypocritical to consider maybe or find a better word than that graffiti as just vandalism graffiti has a rich history of expression which is what art is which is what art is at the core so i don't know where his should is in there so graffiti regardless of whether or not it is legal should be considered an art form because i don't see the three main points there um uh, because the fact that it has a rich history really doesn't help me there um we'll we'll need to work on that one okay so let's go back over here uh let's let's check brendan out again now that i don't know why that got covered up but it did here it is i think my screen was on zoom large companies should make their workers work in office in offices maybe because it promotes a more tight-knit group of workers it helps people's mental health by being social every day yep and it helps people separate their work and home lives well right there i would put in um i think one of your piles one of your main points piles whatever you want to call it um but one of your piles should have promotes tight-knit groups maybe that would be one of your pile names and then one of your pile names would be uh beneficial for mental health or put it in your own words make it short and then the last one you need to do one that says counter argument and then the fourth one would be oh yeah that's we actually have a professor in fact my supervisor here says that's why she doesn't like to teach online classes because she feels like she should be doing something else so um it helps people separate work yeah so i would say separate work from home life and those would be your piles and so all of these that you're finding you would put each one under a pile okay so if it doesn't fit under the pile and you're finding it's the only card that doesn't fit under the pile take it out but if you're finding that all the cards aren't fitting under that name that says mental health uh helps mental health then maybe you should just keep the cards and change the pile name Okay, so that's how you do the piles. Where do you get your piles? Well, you get them from your main points. Promotes, tight-knit groups, or just group work or whatever. 
uh, helps mental health. Um, and then it helps people separate work and home lives. So that's where you get your pile names. It's each one of your main points is a pile. And counter argument is a pile. Okay, now you want to do that because once you have the piles, you're going to, well, starting on Monday, actually, unless we finish early tomorrow, I don't think we will, but if we do, we'll start our outline, but that will really help you with your outline when you have your piles because you've really gotten it organized. So that's your mini lesson. I hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. Mm.